Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to hook up the oil feed for the TDO5 and the drain. Drain meaning the scavenger pump. We're going to wire up the scavenger pump. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in guys. First up, we're going to do the oil feed for the TDO5. So that is up in this area. So I'll get a light over here and I'll show you. Alrighty guys, you can probably see the oil feed sitting there. It actually needs to go to the bolt that's next to it. So this here is the fitting that will replace that bolt. Um, I think I had to get this made up or special ordered in from like Pertech, which is like a hydraulic hose place, not too far away. Um, yeah. Right, so go like right up against here, That's straight down. And I just dropped it. Damn it. I just stripped the thread in the block for the oil feed. Correct. So unfortunately tonight that won't be going on. So we'll focus on the, the um, scavenger pump tonight. We'll see how that is in the morning. Tomorrow night, I'll just JB weld the thread in there so it ain't coming out. <laughs> Hopefully, so I've got to clean up the thread within the block so the JB weld will adhere to the, the block properly and not um, all the crap that's in there. Fingers crossed, I got it. I think I had like maybe one full turn that had thread and the rest is JB weld um, we'll keep a close close eye on that one and um, we'll let that set for quite some time so probably next episode we'll, um, we'll do that so that'll probably be in two days that should be enough time for it to dry and uh, we'll get the the feed line on for the TDO5 then. So sorry about that. It's never never easy, is it guys? Alrighty, so probably yeah, it was last week. I could not find any electrical terminals. So I couldn't do the scavenger pump. Alright. Last episode I was trying to find the Teflon tank. So I could put the the plug in for the water for the turbo and I found all my electrical terminals <laughs> after I bought new ones so these are my new ones that I bought for water relay as well because it pulls um, only 6 amps <laughs> why did I think it was 60? Because I didn't see the dot, did I? Anyway, we're going to put a relay in there. So eventually, I want it on a turbo timer or something similar. Um, so it'll run for like another five seconds after it turns off. And it turns off by a turbo timer. Um, I can get a pretty basic one from JCAR. And then I'll be running two turbo timers. 
that um, the power would be from the turbo timer to the turbo timer. Does that make sense? Actually, no, it wouldn't. Because if I turn off the turbo timer, then the scavenger pump turns off and I can accidentally turn it off while I'm driving. Anyway, we have main power right here, which I need. And we have a ground point right here, which I need. We have a switch in the center console that I originally used when the scavenger pump was on the other side. So we reuse that. And we've got the power here. So that'll go straight to the relay. This power here. Actually, no, I've got to chop that off. That's a male. I need a female. Yeah. I have to run some wires. I do have a few things coming. I've got another host kit coming. It's got another three meters of um, braided 10 ANs. Um, I've got the gasket for the GT35. I've got a three inch feed band for the dump pipe. And one other thing. Oh. A um, 6 a.m. to a barb for the water for the TDA5. So then it's just time getting everything back together, doing intercooler piping. Alright, guys, I'm running up the relay. So I have the power, this one here that goes to that block there. So 12 volt battery. This red one is the power to the pump. Then we have, obviously the black one is on earth, it's got a ring terminal on it, we'll go down to here. Now the earth on the actual pump is not long enough, so I need to extend that, so I'm going to solder that. And we have, um, we need to do the switch from inside to here, and that's all wired up. So I'm extending this, so... Because I did have a ring terminal on it and I couldn't get it in the right position that I wanted. I want it like, hanging off the battery stay, like, maybe like there, and it just wasn't long enough, it was tight. And obviously, don't want it tight because it'll be pulling on all the wires within the, the black insulation. So, uh, as you can see, we need to extend it just a little bit. Right, my uh, soldering iron is not working, so I'm going to have to join it. I've got these bullet connectors, so it's protected. No, I want to do that one there. So, uh, those bullet connectors didn't fit. No, the male was too big for the female. Yeah, it is. So, back to the, the blade ones. Isn't they called blade? Yeah, blade. It's pretty messy, but you know. So we need to run the switch now. So we'll head in to the car. Alrighty, guys. So here is the switch I'll be using. I don't want to get this actual center console out because it's got the the wires for the for the switch. So I'll just try to pop that out. And we'll head over to there. And I think that's where I'll be getting the power from. That's nasty. Far out. What the hell did I do? Oh, I think this is the gauges. So here's the gauges. Yeah. Um. Alrighty, I think I've determined that this bunch of wires here is ignition. Because um, this is the gauges and this is for the exhaust valve. Now they are not hooked up to constant power. This one here is constant power. 
Yeah, this one goes obviously to um, turbo timer. Ignition goes to the turbo timer. This one here must be the earth and yeah this one's the earth because you can see black black is going to that brown black is going to brown so black is always earth um, and yeah white I'm not sure what white is so <coughs> But after the plug, it changes. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, well. Might be able to get a connector onto that, actually. I think I might get a connector onto that. Um, I think I've got four left. I need three for the switches. One, two. Three for one. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I got it on. Uh, it's only good. Alright, so from here we'll go to the switch. So we're going to run it from the switch to that way. And then at the same time, I'm going to put, I'm going to roughly cut one to length. And then I'll just use this and I'll just keep pushing it through. So we're going through there, just unraveling. Until it gets to the relay at the front. Alright guys, all the wiring is done for the relay and the scavenger pump. So, added extra length here for the earth. Earth has the ring terminal. Got the switch run. Not the cleanest, but that can be cleaned up. This is the power one, which is not run. That's easy, it just goes into that block. Um, so tomorrow, same episode, uh, I've just got to mount the relay and we've got to mount the scavenger pump. And that'll be it. So I've got to make some noise, so that'll be tomorrow. But yeah, coming right up, guys. Alright, guys, it's the next day. Last night, after turning the camera off, I started to play around with the mounting. <clears throat> What I'm actually going to do is actually put the battery on charge. So I've got to clear out the boot, put the battery charger over here, and put it on charge. And we'll uh, get all the wiring sorted here. And uh, hopefully we can get this mounted today. Alright guys, so I've wired that up. I'm not happy. Um, one, one reason why it's, it's still down here and not up here where I want it is the power that goes to the starter didn't have any wire similar gauge at that length until I changed the wire on my welder now so this is the old welding wire it's actually not too bad a couple of little melty bits but we'll clean it up Maybe put some heat heat wrap onto it, heat shrink, should I say. And uh, we'll change that over. Alright, so here's a new cable. I'm putting the cover on to protect the starter. And uh, then we can move this. Hey, <laughs> there we go. We have so much more length now. Pretty happy with that. I've got to duck off. I've got to go back to, well, I've got to go to work. Just to fill out some paperwork and um then uh, i'll come back and finish that off i'm just drilling some holes in the side here to mount the relay and while i was drilling i was like what's that smell i know that smell there's body filler on the inside here what no it's pretty thick not thick but one mil thick enough I don't know if I definitely haven't painted here it's I'm guessing it's been an accident before then it's 
a reason for it to have body fill there other than obviously repair. Oh yes. Yeah. That hole there. It's like one mil. Oh well. So last night when I was wiring this up, put a lot more wire on there than I need. Especially for the power. So I used this fuse, inline fuse, right? And then I added a lot more. So I've just wasted these connectors. So I'm going to chop it. And I'm just go straight into there. The cable tie the fuse to the relay. So that'll just go into there. Simples. Here we go. Looking a lot neater now. See this cabin to pump isn't there. I need to make up a bracket so we can mount it to here. I am. Mm. Contemplating taking that this out, but that's a bit of work. Make it look a lot neater. I don't have a drill bit that'll just take the spot welds out, anyways. Um, yeah. So much easier. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys. I'm going to use this square tube to make a mounting bracket for the scavenger pump. So I'm going to make it a bit longer and then I can cut off the top here. You can mount through that way and from that you can mount onto there. Both mounts, so to the body, to the scavenger pump, will be rubber mounted. So hopefully that um, it doesn't come through the body of the car. Okay, so we've got the first bracket on. So, two rubber bushing there. You can see it mounts in there like that, quite easy to get to. And then, I'll put a hole here, and that'll mount to the bodywork, rubber mounted as well. So hopefully that works out all right. Hi right guys, I've reconnected the battery. I'm just gonna test it out. I haven't finished the mount yet. Um, still contemplating of actually getting this part out here. Um, bit of work. And by the looks of it, the panel underneath isn't flat anyways. Um, and <laughs> might have to extend the earth again if I do bring it up on top. But um, yeah, just gonna test it out. We need to put the the master switch in and we'll hear stuff come on and then I can flick the switch to see if this works. We'll definitely be able to hear it. Alrighty. So we're gonna put this in. So it's out. It's off. So there's nothing below. Alright, we've got power. The keys are in there. <laughs> Damn, that's loud. Um, yeah, it was on. So I just flipped it, so it's off. Let's see, my battery relocation kit works. Let's go head out and see what power we have. At the block so i've never actually checked it all right by the look of it there was a little bit of oil in there because it's spewed out a little bit just here but, um, we'll check the, the power of the battery and then uh we'll check it here an 11.94 to 
pretty crappy battery anyway, so expected. Let's check it here. I'm pretty happy with that. 0 0.01 drop in power. I'm very happy with that. It's my fuel. That's not good. Hopefully a fuel line hasn't gone dodgy. Hmm. Yeah. Anyways, let's try putting that oil feed onto that fitting that I JB welded in with like one, one and a half turns into the actual block. looks all right just remind me guys before I start it just to keep an eye on that um, tonight or another day might mix up some more JB weld and just put it around the base of that fitting just to make sure but I did t tighten it up there pretty tight and there was no movement so pretty good with that and uh, that works it's going to pump works just waiting on some more hose to come in, some more braided line, um, so I'll probably change over all this blue stuff, make it all a bit neater, so that mount might take me a little bit, I get stuck into it tonight, but I'm going to edit this video first, so I'm going to wrap this episode up guys, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you next episode. Bye.